welcome back to my channel if you don't know my name is Manny and I am back with a 2017 BET Awards review if you watch my Billboard Music Awards review you will know the structure for this type of review I'm going to be focused on everything to do with the award show so this review as always will focus on the fashion the awards the performances let me give you a background information on the award so the award show was held on Sunday 25th of June yesterday at the Microsoft Theatre in Los Angeles and was hosted by Leslie Jones I think it was her first time hosting an award show but I, she did okay I think she did okay but she was very loud throughout the show <laughs> I had to put my volume down a little bit I was like auntie Leslie can you not out of 10 I would give her about 7.5 out of 10. I will say she was a little bit loud, but I did love her jokes. She also wore the red carpet and looked lovely in her green dress. So I'm going to start off with the fashion right now. So I'm going to start off with Lil Mama. And she wore a lovely like beige dress with a nice cut to the thigh area. She looks really beautiful. And I f can I just say that the whole Bow Wow comparison is tiring. I'm tired of the Bow Wow comparison to Lil Mama. Yeah, we kind of, we know now they look alike, but they're clearly not the same people. Like they're clearly not one and the same. They're different. They're two different people. So just leave that, leave that joke in 2015 and let's move on, please. She looks beautiful. She looks very beautiful. I feel like she's found herself fashion wise, and it's beautiful to see. I want to do a yes or no kind of thing for the fashion. So if so something like here for it, not here for it, but that's too boring. So for this video, I want to say I was here for it or not here for it. But if you can think of a suggestion, so let's talk like a yay or nay. She slayed. He slayed. He fell, she fell, kind of thing. So if you got any recommendations for that kind of style of yes or no, let me know. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. Was I here for it or not? I was here for the look. I was here for it. Next up, we have Justine Skye. <laughs> well, she's a singer, but I don't think she's really known for that. She is more of a... I don't know what to call her. <laughs> Justine Skye is a singer and also known on social media for her beauty. But I was not here for this look. I was like, sis, pick one. <laughs> like, is it going to be the drapey thing? Or is it going to be that? Is it called a corset? Is it going to be the drapey thing or the corset pick one? I was not here for the look. She's a very stunning, beautiful chocolate princess. But I was like, what is going on today? This is not the look. This is not the one, babes. Next up, we have former Destiny Child member Latoya Luckett. And she looked stunning. I was here for this look. I loved her floor outfit. I love this look. She looked stunning. And her skin was just glowing. Like, black is really beautiful. Next up, we have Black China, And to be honest, I was not really here for the look. You know, this look is very predictable, it's very Kimmy. Like, I feel like this look is very Kim Kardashian. I feel like her hairstyle was very similar to someone that attended the award show. We're gonna get to her in a bit. But I was not here for the look. It was very predictable. Next up, we have Ryan Destiny, who is a star on the show, star. <laughs> See what I did there. When I first saw the look, I wasn't here for it. But then I just pictured Aaliyah. I dearly departed Aaliyah and I was like, Okay, I see this look now. I see the look. I love the glasses, the long hair. This is very Aaliyah. If Aaliyah was alive, this would be her. I, I'm guessing this would be her style, you know. So I was I was here for it. Next up, we have Gucci Mane and Asad Khalid, who were both matching, and I just found this so beautiful to look at. Like, did, look at this. Oh. Asad is my brother. He's my son all in one. Like, he's such an adorable baby. He's all our sons. Like, we all know that that's our son. Like, he is just so adorable. And I just love how he's matching with Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane came out of jail looking like a new person. Like, I'm just here for the glow. I'm here for the change in his life. I was certainly here for Asad and Gucci Mane's look. Next up, we have Ducky Fott, who is an upcoming model. She's modeled with Rihanna for Pip Magazine, modeled for her fashion show as well, Fenty and Puma. If you are a YouTube fanatic like me, you would know that this girl has come a long way from being on America, was it? No, I think it was Australia's Next Top Model. Her being Nikki Perkins' sister, and she also attended the war show, so I'm gonna get onto her next. I was certainly here for Ducky's look. She is just the epitome of a black Barbie. She's beautiful. Next up is her sister, Nikki Perkins, who wore a very beautiful velvet green dress, and she looked beautiful, repping the YouTube gang, and I was here for the look. I'm just so happy to see her winning. Like, she's so humble. Like, she's so humble. She's so sweet from what I can see from the vlogs. So she deserves everything. Next up, we have Trevor Jackson, who represented the guys. And he, I just, I like his outfit. I really like his outfit, except for the shoes. I just didn't understand what's going on with the shoes. But apart from that, he looked amazing. I loved the, I loved the way he had his buttons undone. I loved the shirt. It was like Versace. Is it Versace? It was very Versace-like. But I like his shirt. 
I like his jeans. I like the shade of his jeans. Like it really, it really goes well together. Next up, we have Cardi B, and I just want to say that I'm just so I'm just here for her glow up. When I saw a low quality picture of this look, I was like, um, I'm not sure if I'm here for the wig and the outfit. But when I saw the high quality pictures from the red carpet, I was like, yes, go on, Cardi B. I was certainly here for the look. Next up, we have Jada Pinkett Smith, and this woman is aging beautifully. She is just so beautiful, glowing. So she wore like a very lovely, goldy, coppery, shimmery dress. That car on the fight area was the trend for the night. <sighs> okay, next up we have the birthday girl, Lala Anthony, who was looking beautiful on her special day. According to the TL, she turned 38 and 38 never looked so good. She's just glowing. Next up we have Yara Shahidi. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And she wore... <sighs> okay. She wore a denim dress that I certainly was not here for. She is a very beautiful girl. Let me start off there. Very beautiful. Very smart. But this outfit was not a smart choice. I am so sorry. I wasn't here for it at all. <laughs> I know denim is the trend. I know denim is the trend in, like, in different ways. I'm that there's denim boots, which I'm here for. There's denim jackets. Different styles of denim jackets. Like the long line denim jackets. This dress was a hell to the no, no. What the? Ay, ay, I'm let me look at it again. <laughs> like, and the fact that she won an award, we want to get into with this look. Sorry, ma'am, no. Uh -uh. Next. Next up, we have Logan Browning, who I didn't know before the award show, but she is so beautiful. So I had to just include her in this. Her outfit was stunning. Her outfit was stunning. Her eyes were just popping. Her mending was popping. I was here for the look. Next up, we have someone who I never thought I'd mention on my channel. <laughs> Karuchi Tran, who had blonde hair, okay, which is very different for her, a purple dress with a long extended piece to it, and she wore it with, I think, purpley rose goldy heels. I really hate that zip tattoo on the back of her leg, that, that zip tattoo that spoils every single look. Anytime she shows that zip tattoo. Next up, we have Kofi Cerebro. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. He was really repping for the guys, okay? I love this look. I love it. I'm here for it. Even though it kind of makes me itch, the, the pattern of the suit kind of makes me itch. But his melanin popping severely. I'm here for that black boy glow, like, come on. Next up, we have Remy Ma, who was also a big winner for the night. We're going to get into that in a bit. But, yeah, I liked her look. It was nice. I don't know how to describe it, per se. This lovely blue dress. And then another different shades of blue. I feel like the detail could have been so much better on the shoulder area. But it's nice. It's nice. She, she looks stunning. She's glowing severely. Next up, we have Isabelle, who introduced Cesar for her performance. But they mentioned the wrong names. <laughs> That whole part, that whole part of the show was a mess. I'll get into that as well. But she wore a very, like, I would say, Whitney Houston inspired look, very vintage Whitney Houston look. And yeah, I'm, I'm here for her success. Like, I'm, I'm here for seeing the YouTube gang winning. I, I'm really here for the YouTube gang that's winning right now. Like, come on, rap, rap, team YouTube. Assad also attended a award show with his dad, DJ Khaled. Yes, I said Assad attended a award with his dad. I said what I said. Next up, we have Big Sean. Come on, Big Sean, Big Sean, Big Sean. Like, what, what else do I got? What, what else do I have to say? Like, this red velvet two-piece. Come on, Big Sean. Big Sean never fails with his fashion sense. Like, his fashion sense is on point. Come on. Come on. Come on. I feel like he was the best dress for the male to be honest. He just took it. Yes, it was a casual look, but oh, come on, Big Sean. As you can tell, certainly here for the look. He attended the award show with his bae, Janae Aiko, who's also a singer. Next, we have Chance the Rapper, and I certainly here for this look. I feel like he looks good like this. He looks very nice without the hat. Very simple. It was very minimalist, but it was on point. I loved it. It was a look. And I'm very happy to see him being successful. I want to get onto that in a bit as well. Next up, we have Cesar, who I don't think... Did she walk the red carpet? I think she walked the red carpet. There's a picture here of her on the red carpet. She was very beautiful in her blue outfit. She was just glowing. And I want to get to her performance in a bit as well. Finally, we have the love and hip-hop star, Jocelyn Hernandez, who attended an award show. She looks stunning with that drapey outfit. I think that's the term. Is it drapey? Is it the term? Let me know. I loved her drapey tupi. This, this is the cleanest I've seen her look. Since she filmed the Love and Hip Hop reunion a few weeks ago, her outfit choices has improved. I love this tupi. Look like. She looks amazing. She looks nice. And yeah, she, she didn't attend the award with Stevie J. So I'm guessing things are not okay. Unless he's babysitting Bonnie Bella. I think that is it for the highlights of the red carpet look. So let's get into the performances. So Bruno Mars opened the show. I don't know what he performed, but obviously as always, his energy was on point. He also won Best Male R&B and Pop Artist. And I was like, 
I don't want to hear that they're giving it to Chris Brown. I don't want to hear that they're giving it to The Weeknd. He's really giving it to us with his performances, his album, his energy. I know he's not black, but he's a person of colour and he deserves that award. I don't give a damn. Like, Chris who? The Weeknd would have been a close second, but Chris doesn't even come close to the top three, I guess. Who's, who's in the category again? So, the people that were in the category were Usher, The Weeknd, Chris Brown, Trey Songz, Bruno Mars. Yes, he deserves it by far. So, I would say in that order, I'll put in the order of Bruno Mars, The Weeknd, Usher, Chris and Trey Songz can share last place because their music has been very... <laughs> so the next performance was French Montala and Swirlies, Unforgettable, which I would say is one of the summer tunes of 2017, but I did not really like their energy for the performance. I really did not enjoy the energy. Like, that song is a bop. I want to see, I want to see dance moves. I want to see them groove, but I don't know if Swirlies was nervous, but I just wasn't here for the look because he normally performs with his brother from Ray Schmerd, which I just found out this year that it was drummer, drummer ears reversed. Wow. Yeah, I love the song. I didn't like the performance. The next performance was from Post Malone and the Migos. They started off with congratulations. I liked the song, but I was not here for the performance. It was not, I, I don't like. After that, the Migos performed T-shirt and Bad and Bougie. But I just, okay. Oh, this auto team thing here. Yeah. Many are called and few are chosen for this thing. Like auto team, like it's not really. I don't think auto teams for them, you know. I just the natural volume on that live stream was not even high, but it was hurting my ears. Next up, we have Trey Songs. He performed Nobody Else But You, another song that I can't remember. Oh, Trey Songs. I he needs to do better. I'm so sorry. All oh, these songs about the persuade everything. It, oh, please, it's so old. Come on, give us something new. Give us. I know he's an R&B singer, but his vocals was not even. Ugh, his vocals was very lackluster. Trey, man, Tremaine, come on. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you, man. I certainly wasn't here for the performance. Next up, we have Mary J. Blige, who performed a medley of her songs from I think from her new album. I don't know the names of the song, don't ask me. This album and performance was definitely targeted at her ex, or soon to be ex-husband, Ken Doom. I've been very up to date with this story, thanks to Wendy Williams. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely here for the performance. I feel like her voice was a little bit, ugh, but <laughs> she's Mary J. Blige, she can do whatever she wants. She can even sing at the, the Office of the Keys, and I will still be here for it. And she, can I just say, I don't know her exact age, but she looked Stunning. You know, Cher wore some of the outfit like that for the billboard. She's like, no, nah, I want to teach you how it's really done. Her body was looking on point. I was like, okay, Mary. Kudos to you, Auntie Mary. That was amazing. I, I was here for it. Big Sean performed a medley, including Bounce Back. Janae and Big Sean really have to do a second album for 2088. And because I really loved their first album. Their debut album was amazing. But the performance, yeah, I like. He has a nice vibe to him, but it, it lacks energy. Okay, Big Sean's like he's very cool, like he's very calm, so I know that already. Compared to his anti-world tour set, I feel like it was very boring at the BT Awards, but I love Bounce Back. Next up we have Khalid who performed Locations, and I love that song. Ah, oh, that song is such a, a naughty appointment kind of song, even though I'm shy. Their next performance was from Escape. So Escape returned to the stage after many years of being apart, and if you don't know, so yes, if you watch the Real Housewives review, I kind of... Forgot their name, but I've learned, okay? The group consists of Candy, Tiny, which is T.I.'s soon to be ex-wife, and two other ladies, I, can't, I don't know who they are, I don't know their name, but it's okay, God is good. Someone tweeted something very stupid. <laughs> Someone said, wait, T.I.'s wife used to sing? And another, per and then the person said afterwards, oh shit, oh girl from Real House of Atlanta on here too? I was like, can you put some respect on their name? They, Tiny can, okay. I'm not gonna lie and say I knew the music before, <laughs> okay? Uh, I knew Candy sang, okay? But I didn't know that T.I.'s wife sang until like a few years ago. And I was like, but T.I.'s wife can really sing. They did a medley of songs including Who Can I Run To? I wanted them to sing tonight. When they sang it a cappella, um, when they announced that they're coming back, I was like, yes, that is it. That is right. They did amazing. Candy's voice started off well and then boom. <laughs> so next we have Future who performed Mask Off. I knew that Percocet, Molly Percocet was not something you can say on TV because they showed the, they showed the music video on TV all the time and they always put chase a chick, never chase a bitch, Mask Off. They, they mix up the lyrics and it, so I kind of, I didn't expect it but as soon as I heard it I was like okay I'm used to this on TV so it made sense. But I was like oh come on, I don't like censored music, like I hate censored versions of music, that's just annoying. And what I also hated was the remix that he performed with Kendrick Lamar. I was like Kendrick why? Kendrick, no. I like Kendrick, go back, go back. If you want to do loyalty or humble, just go back. But 
it was okay, I guess. I never liked the remix before the performance, and I don't like it now. So, that's that. The next performance was from Tima Braxton, who performed My Man. I'm very disappointed to find out that she allegedly mimed or lip synced the whole performance. Like, she was, she was doing the. <laughs> like, her head is. Her mouth was falling off. Like, <laughs> I loved her voice, but it was not from her at that moment. I was like, come on. And I feel like her mic. I don't know if she, she lost track of where she was, but she stopped singing and the backing track was singing, like, and it was singing loudly. No, it's not like backing track as in, like, back in the background, like the, the harmonies or the ad-libs, whatever. It was the main lead vocals that I could hear, but it's not from her mouth, mate. I was like, okay, Tamar. Okay, next up is the new edition tribute, which I was 110,000% here for. That new edition tribute was probably the best tribute I've seen in my entire life of living. Oh, cr like, the thing is that, what made it so special is they were able to bring the cast from the actual show, so they had two generations of new edition, plus the original group, including the one that joined after Bobby Brown left. Oh, uh, it was amazing. Look, James, who I, who I knew as Jesse J's ex before the movie, he can sing? What the? What? Oh, I'm like, okay. okay. We had Keith Powell. Yes, the greatest from Empire. So they performed for then, I, I, if I can remember correctly, New Edition got their award. Then they went backstage and did a few songs, including Can You Stand the Rain? Oh, my chest. I was waving my hands in the air as if I didn't care. It was amazing. I was waving my hands in the air as if I was there. Okay, listen. That was a beautiful performance. They still, okay, they, I can't say they still got it, but they, Black don't crack in many ways. Black don't crack in, in features on Black don't crack in movements. They were moving as if they were in their 20s. I was like, come on. But they definitely deserve that award, especially after the movie. Next up is SZA and her performance. This is one of the performances that I would say 95% of people that are watching the award show was looking forward to. Okay. And I would say that it was a mess from the very beginning when they got Issa Rae to introduce it. As I said, they brought Issa Rae out. The person I was in the voice of mentioned the wrong name. She, she even mentioned two names. What was the only one person that came out from the from the door? I was like, okay, her name is Issa Rae. Come on. So it was a it was a mess at that moment. It's now time for Scissor to perform. And so I can hear that Scissor is singing, but the fill is meant to be lifting up. It's not lifting up. But it did not happen for anyone's performance. That that technical difficulty. And so she had to stop. And then she had to restart again, but this thing was still down. I was like, oh god. I was like, mate. And the thing is that she's always spoken about the anxiety that she gets from performing. So I was like, I can only imagine how she felt. Someone that, as someone that gets nervous for everything as well, I can't, I felt bad. I was like, oh my god, don't do this to her, please. Don't do this to her. Come on. But she still killed it. She performed Love Galore and The Weeknd. That album control. Is amazing. Deserves to go number one, but I'm happy it debuted at number three. She did so well, so beautiful. She, come on. So the last performance of the night that I can remember was "I'm the One" by DJ Khaled, with um, Chance the Rapper, Quavo, Lil Wayne, and they used Justin Bieber's vocals. But I certainly was not here for, as I said, Quavo's auto tune, uh -uh. Lil Wayne's auto tune, uh -uh. Chance the Rapper. I liked his verse. You know, so it was a nice way to close the show, but what touched my heart the most from that performance was when DJ Khaled brought out Asad to the stage and I almost cried. I feel like I was, I was teary. I like After the performance, he just kept on declaring his love for his son. And I feel like that's every child's dream, just to be loved by their parents, especially their fathers. Last but not the least, we're going to the awards now. And before I go into the awards, I just want to say that the Americans know how to thank God. I'm like, praise him, Jesus. Like, new edition, when they got the award, I was like, Wow, everyone is speaking declarations, positivity. I'm like, hallelujah, amen, I receive it. I just love how black people just know God and love to thank him first for anyone. I pray that if I do get to that point where I get awards, stuff like that, I never forget God because God's one that's brought us this far. So Solange won the Centric Award for Cranes in the Sky and that's my song. I feel like a Sea at the Table is one of the best albums of last year. I still listen to it. It helped me get through my assignments. It's a beautiful album. She deserves. It was also her birthday. I think the day of or the day before the BT Awards. So happy belated to you, Solange. And also happy, happy belated birthday to you, Lala Anthony. If you're watching this, <laughs> I don't think you're watching this, but in case you're watching this, happy birthday to y'all. Charles Rapper won Best New Artist and also won the Humanitarian Award, as I said, 
which was presented by Deborah Lee, as well as a video message from Michelle Obama. Wizkid won International Artist Africa, and he won this over Nasty C, who I don't know, David Doe, who I know, Stoneboy, I know of AKA, I know Techno Miles, Mr. Easy. I would have loved if Techno or Mr. Easy won because they have been very consistent. I know, yes, Whisk has had international success in the last year especially. So the last two awards was Best Male Hip Hop Artist and Best Female Hip Hop Artist. The Best Male Hip Hop Artist winner was Kendrick Lamar, who won over J. Cole, Drake, Big Sean, Chance the Rapper and Future. Yeah, he deserves the award. Best Female Hip Hop Artist. Everyone's at the edge of their seat. Beats, he purposely left it to last. But the winner of the best female hip hop artist, and y'all are gonna have to deal with that, and uh, you know who I'm talking about, was Remy Ma. <laughs> when she said it, I didn't know how to react. I was like, okay, kudos to you, baby. I feel like she deserves an award. Come on, don't act as if, yes, Nikki has been consistent with her features, but number one, she didn't release an album. Number two, I didn't like her features. As I said in the Billboard Music Awards, her features have been very lackluster for me. The only one I really love the most, I will say right now, is Light My Body Up and No Frauds. Every other feature is my least favourite. I wasn't a fan of... Not No Frauds. Light My Body Up and... What's the song I'm thinking of? Swallow, that's it. I didn't like No Frauds. No Frauds is not my tune. Regressing Your Tears. You know I don't, you know I don't like her singing, so... I don't think that would, that would even be qualified for the award anyway because it's hip-hop, it's not pop. Oh, the picture that they used was so trifling. Oh my goodness, really. really they really used an old picture of Remy Ma, like with the, brown, with the blonde fringe and the black bob. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, Stormzy won Best International Act. I'm just finding out, oh my god. Stormzy won Best International Act Europe over MHD, Craig David, Giggs, Riley, Emily, Emily Sunday and Skepta. Congrats Stormzy, you deserve it so much. That's my guardian brother, like, come on, congrats. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, comment below your favourite and your least favourite looks and performances, as well as if you agree with the winners of these awards, especially the best female hip-hop artist. That was the one that everyone was waiting for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as I always say on my channel, don't forget to always do you and be unapologetic. Peace.